our chicks have shipped. We ordered five female chicks from My Pet Chicken and they shipped yesterday. Um, and they've given us a tracking number showing they're supposed to be overnight delivery. To, to, they were shipped on June 1st and according to UPS they should be arriving today, June 2nd. And I thought I would just go a bit through our brooder setup. We just got everything set up, ready for them, and I thought I'd just talk about what we've got. Everything we got, we just ordered straight off of Amazon. Um, to start, uh, we did get some electrolytes that will give them in their water when they first arrive. It's uh, Save a Chick electrolytes. And then we're going to be starting them off in terms of their feed on um, some medicated chick grower from Mana Pro. Um, and then we've got a little brooder box set up for them. So we bought this brooder box off of Amazon. It's just a simple wood box. You could probably build one yourself, but the kit was cheap and pretty easy to put together. It took about 20 minutes. Um, and it's just a wooden box. It has a, a wooden bottom to it that isn't quite as sturdy as I'd like, but the rest of the box is pretty nice. We wanted the wire mesh to protect our chicks from jumping out. We have a cat in the household. We're going to try to keep him away from the chicks, obviously, but um, just in case that screen should help protect them. And then um, to start really all you need for baby chicks is um, obviously food, water, and warmth. And um, some people use heat lamps, but we decided to go with a, a heat plate. I'll put a link below for this. Um, and it's this cute little one has um, a little feather wrap that goes around, around it. It's optional, you can buy these, but it makes it look very much like a mother hen's kind of um, underside underbelly and so we decided to get this um, for the first week you're supposed to keep them um, between 90 and 95 degrees and we do have a little thermometer underneath here monitoring the temperature right now it's at 89 um, so we might move it down just a little bit to keep it a little bit warmer in there um, uh, it's been going between 89 and 95 but it's about right, it's between almost 90 degrees. Um, posts are adjustable, and that's how you regulate the temperature with the little heat plate. You can see it has little snaps underneath it that you just push in, and that helps you bring it up and down. And the, the plate itself is um, what generates the heat, but it's not very hot. It's just a little warm underneath there. We decided to go with um, start them off just these cheap kind of little water container. I haven't put the water in yet, but I will shortly. And then the crumbles. For the, gr for the ground, we just used some pine shavings. We ordered these off of Amazon. And I put some newspaper underneath it to protect the wood underneath, but um, uh, little chicks can slide on newspaper, so you really shouldn't put like just newspaper in the bottom. It can cause them to slip and damage their legs um, and then for light um, we decided just to go with a, a little simple plant light um, these are artificial sunlight lamps that um, are adjustable so during the day we'll keep them on keep it on bright but we have the option to, uh, at night to we'll probably still keep some light on but we'll probably turn it down to the low setting and this is it this is our little Brooder set up, we'll keep them in here for the first few weeks of their life and then um, we may move them into a bigger kind of play area before we move them outdoors. We're thinking they'll probably move them outdoors once they're um, about six weeks, six weeks old, we'll probably move them outside. So we're thinking maybe right around the week after July 4th. So we'll, I'll come back once our chicks arrived and show you how they look from my pet chicken, um, how they've been shipped to us, what sh shape they are in. We're, we're hoping that all turns out well. Okay, see you soon.
we just got a call from our post office that the chicks have arrived. So at this point, they left June 1st around um, 2 p.m. from Ohio, and they arrived in Seattle at 1 a.m., and they've arrived at our local post office, which is about 10 minutes from Seattle, um, now at 7.14 a.m. Just got a call. So we're going to go pick them up. Found Adam. They sound good. <laughs> Let's put them oh, in the bird. No, no, They're all alive. Look at you guys. Hello. Huh? No, no, that's not a pooping spot. That's an oh. eating spot. Okay. Oh, yeah, they are. They're very thirsty. Look at that. Mm. There they are. They've just been eating and drinking water. They're all very healthy. And I wanted to show something about the box that they are shipped in really quickly. Um, on the inside, you can see they've listed all the chicks we've ordered. We got the five that we put an order in for. Um, and that's what we got, Five Life Chicks. They came from Connecticut to Washington, um, Monroe, Connecticut, to, or near Seattle, Washington, in about a day and a half. And they were packed in this cute little box. And there's something really neat about this box I didn't notice right away, but underneath this little nest that they were packed into, There's a little heat pack that was sent with them, and it's actually still warm. It's probably not as warm as it was when they first put them in, so I guess that provides them a little bit of their heat for their um, for their trip. And right now we have them in our spare bedroom closet to help keep them away from our other pet, our cat. Um, they seem pretty happy. They've just been chirping and eating all day long, all morning long. We got some food, medicated feed, water, and they haven't really spent a lot of time under the heat lamp yet, but they do go underneath there occasionally. What do you think of the chicks? I think they like maybe, I don't know, more ground up food. You think we should? But they kind of grounded it up with the beaks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're going to start giving them some grit in a couple days, which will help them digest their food. Because chickens don't have teeth, so. That is, is that blue? Yeah, that's blue. Or she's supposed to, I think she, it's a little fuzzy, but yeah. We think she's our blue Easter egg. -er. And then this one we've named Olive, which is our Olive egg. -er. And we still have to name the two Austral Whites and um, the Snowy Easter Egg. -er. Yeah, so we've got a Super Blue Partridge Olive Egg, -er, a Snowy Egg -er, Easter Egg, -er, and then two Austral Whites. The um, first three will lay blue and green eggs, and the Austral Whites will lay a cream-colored egg, 
and they're supposed to grow really fast like they might lay eggs as soon as like 16 weeks so so we got them and then i think we're going to try to see if we can pick up one more one or two more chicks at our feed store that lay brown eggs um they have some will summers coming in on friday so we're going to see if we can get a couple of those but all in all we're super happy with our delivery from my pet chicken they did an awesome job packing and shipping and our chicks are happy and healthy.